Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Fe2SO4-3. Now here's a little trick guys, if you have a compound that has three or more different elements, in this case we have three different elements, right? We have iron, which is Fe, we have S for sulfur and O for oxygen. If you have three or more different elements, you know that you're going to have to deal with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's best to figure out where the polyatomic ion is and then work from there. Now, the hardest thing is that polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So that's why I gave us the polyatomic that we're going to see here. Memorize these polyatomics, okay, guys? So if you see an SO4, it's always a negative 2 charge, which we're going to see in a little bit, and use it. And SO4 is always sulfate. So this is sulfate, the SO4, and then iron, right? Iron is over here on the periodic table. So since it's part of the transition metals, literally transition metal, it's a metal. And now we're ready to name. The metal name comes first, right? And that name always stays exactly the same. So iron would just be iron. Now we're dealing with the polyatomic, and that name always stays the same. That's why you got to memorize them, okay? Because they're not on the periodic table. So this would be sulfate. Now, since this, this is an ionic compound, I just have to make sure if I need a Roman numeral. And we need Roman numerals for transition metals. Iron is part of this block. That's where your transition metals are. So we need a Roman numeral. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. In this case, we got to find out the charge of the iron. But that's pretty simple. All we're going to do is take the subscripts and crisscross them back up. Now I'm going to group together the sulfate, right? I have two irons and I have three total sulfates. This two crisscrossed up telling me that the sulfate, the whole sulfate, the whole SO4 was a negative two charge. And this three crisscrosses up telling me that the iron was a plus three. Just double check to make sure that this is correct. That's why you have to memorize the charges of polyatomics. It is a negative two charge, always. So if this checks out, the iron's going to check out, and that's the charge of the iron, a three. So I put a three here. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. And now we are finally done. So Fe2SO43 is iron three sulfate. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. It takes two seconds, but you know you don't have to if you don't want to. Hopefully, um, you know, let's, you know, keep studying hard, right? And good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I will see you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.